When we build data integration jobs in Talon Studio, we typically connect components using rows. A row is a type of connection that allows data to flow from one component to the next. A trigger, on the other hand, is a different connection type that's used for controlling execution. Unlike rows, triggers do not carry data other than to represent the fact that something happened. That something condition depends on the trigger type. Sometimes bad things happen in the course of executing a job. Maybe a destination file can't be written, for example. In this case, the job stops and dumps its execution stack to the console. In a production system, this is not an ideal way to flag errors. Let's add a tMessageBox component. This component displays a message for the user to acknowledge. Let's connect it to the subjob using an onSubjob error trigger. When connected this way, the tMessageBox component will remain dormant unless an error occurs anywhere in the chain. If that happens, the error condition will bring tMessageBox to life through the trigger connection and the user will be notified. This design pattern allows us to implement sophisticated error handling. In this simple example, we're using a lone tmessage box component to flag the error, but it's easy to see how you can build this example out. For instance, to email an administrator or notify some other system. This error handling application illustrates one commonly used trigger type, on subjob error. But there are a few other trigger types as well that can help us orchestrate the execution of more complicated jobs. Let's transfer the output of the first subjob to an FTP server. Of course, this file transfer should not happen until the first subjob completes, and it should only happen if the first subjob completes successfully. Grouping related subjobs into a single job like this is a great way to organize your work, but as it is currently, the subjobs would execute independently, with no guarantees about ordering or synchronicity. Let's connect them using an on subjob OK trigger. Connected this way, the file transfer part of this job will only happen when the first subjob succeeds. With one single trigger connection, we achieve the desired result. The file transfer is conditional and will be properly synchronized. You may have noticed that when using the on subjob error and on subjob OK triggers, we can only connect them to the leftmost component of the subjobs. This is how subjob triggers work. Two other trigger types, on component error and on component OK, which are functionally similar to their subjob counterparts, are available to all components and give you finer grain control over the execution flow when needed. Beyond these four trigger types, there is one more providing some additional flexibility. Run if. This type allows you to define a custom triggering condition in terms of a Java expression. Suppose you want to issue a warning when the data processed is below a certain threshold. Let's add a tWarn component to display a simple warning in the log output. Then we'll trigger the tWarn component using a run if trigger. Finally, we'll add an expression to trigger only if the number of rows is less than 10. Whenever this job runs, the tWarn component will be triggered if and only if the minimum condition is not met. 